All right, we got Steve Merrill here from wagertalks.com to break down the next noon matchup we have, which is the Nebraska-Indiana game. We got Nebraska with a six and a half spread here. Uh, what's, your t- what's your thoughts on this game here, Steve? Yeah, I mean, six and a half, seven right now, depending on where you look. In fact, as we do this Thursday afternoon, this line is starting to move to seven in some locations, mostly six and a half still. Opened as low as four and a half, though. So we have seen some sharp money come on on Indiana this week, pushing it up to six and a half. And it does look like that key number seven is coming into play. Uh, I agree with the move, though. Uh, my 10,000 game simulation on average has Indiana winning this one by nine and a half points. Uh, by the way, if you're trying to find it on the betting rotation, it's at the very bottom. It's the last game on the betting rotation, even though it's a time change. It's now an early noon kickoff with the last game on the betting rotation schedule. So if you're having trouble finding that on the way to talk live on screen, it's at the very bottom game number 420. But once again, uh, money's been coming on Indiana this week. I would agree with that move. Perfect 6-0 and start. Uh, Nebraska no slouch at 5-1. and one. So this is a huge game for both squads in the Big Ten. Uh, Indiana currently 16th in the nation. Um, Nebraska wins this game. They'll be ranked. Indiana will probably fall out even with the 6-1 and one record. So this is basically a... Uh, Winner stay, loser leave town, top 25 matchup. And these are the kind of games I do like to dig into. Um, one thing that jumps out to me about Indiana is how good the offense has been this year. Better than expected, giving up, uh, allowing uh, just 14 and a half points a game, but they're scoring 47 and a half points, throwing for 11 yards per pass. I mean, put that in perspective. Every time they drop back to throw the ball, they're averaging more than a first down this season. Uh, Nebraska, meanwhile, has been very strong defensively, giving up just six yards a pass against teams that allow uh, average 7.1. Uh, Cornhuskers also throw the ball 8.1 yards per pass, but they've played a very weak schedule of defensive teams that allow 7.9. Indiana gives up just 5.7. So I think this is a big step up in class for Nebraska. Tough road game. I look for Indiana to remain undefeated after this week. Excellent. All right. If you want more excellent analysis like this, find Steve Merrill at wagertalks.com. You can get Steve's best bets as well as Mark Rogers and Steve Merrill's takes at Mark's Patreon and his premium Voice of College Football membership tier, Voice of College Football bets. Stay tuned. Become a winner. It's 2024. College football is even more exciting with some action on the line. And the games are even better when you're cashing in. And the Voice of College Football is the place to be to get the greatest value. Let's start with my picks. 75% against the money line, 58% against the spread. I've got a 40-year track record. In fact, in 2023, at $100 played per game, you would have netted over $9,300. And guess what? I'm just the warm-up act. Steve Merrill, our ace in the hole, show stopper from Wager Talk. Six years with the voice of college football, over 30 years in the industry. Steve gives us analysis on all the big games, but you can't miss Steve's weekly under-the-radar pick, which went... 21 and 5 against the spread the last two seasons. I repeat, 21 and 5 against the spread. You also get picks from some of our top analysts here at the Voice of College Football, including Steve Dace and Matt Zemick. Become a YouTube channel member or Patreon member for just $99 per month. Go to the main channel on YouTube, click join, and select the betting tier. Do the same thing on Patreon. Make 2024 a winner now. 